Uh, nighttime Welcome approaches. Aboard, Captain. All systems online. That was badass. What's up guys and welcome back to Subnautica and in today's episode we are finally gonna build a Cyclops. I know this is something that a lot of you guys have wanted to see from me. I wasn't really into prioritizing it because I felt like exploring was a lot more fun than building more vehicles. We already had Saucemobile but after seeing the crazy weaponized version of the Saucemobile last episode I am really eager to see what other kind of vehicles we can make in this. I've got most of what I need I'm pretty sure. I think all that's left is I need to turn lithium and titanium ingots into plate steel ingots. I need five of them. So apparently five plate steel ingots, five enamel glass, a little bit of lubricant and some wires is gonna make a submarine. I have no idea, but I'm really excited to see how. I also built us another vehicle bay because I really don't want to go all the way back to the safe shallows to make this happen. So I think I need to deploy it. There we go. Okay, come on little worker drones, you guys got a lot of work to do. So I'm gonna climb on. I am so excited. Hopefully it doesn't hit the base. That would be a bad thing. Vehicles, Cyclops, do it, do it, do it, do it. Holy shit. Look at the size of this thing. Is that gonna hit my base? It's building it way further away than I thought. It is huge, look at it. It's, it's bigger than home base alpha. It's like a mobile, oh boy. Oh, the paint job, oh God. <laughs> it landed on the base. Oh man, I only just got it. And I'm already dinging up the paint job. Way to go, idiot. Hopefully it's not sea locked. Look at all the little doohickeys on the top. Hey guys, are you guys gonna tell me things? You guys are quite inquisitive. <laughs> it's like my own little two personal R2-D2s. So, holy shit, how do I get in this? Board the Cyclops. Are we good? You hear that? Oh no, we're not good, we're not good. We're taking on water. I ruined my base. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks, Karen. I need to repair. Where, where, where is it? Where's my welder? There's my welder. Five, what do I do? Fix, fix all the things. <laughs> How did I screw this up so badly? <laughs> is that everything? I don't think that's everything. I think I literally broke everything. Everything is broken. There's holes in everything. This is what happens when- restored. Draining systems initiated. Thank you, Karen. This is what happens when you don't know what you're doing. God, the sake of a surprise. Almost destroyed the absolute shit out of my base. Are we good now? Did I get all the leaks? I'm gonna take a look around because Apparently, if you fix most of them, you're okay. I'd still rather not have some leaks. That doesn't sound like a very responsible... Can I stand up now? You're literally swimming in like a foot of water. I think... Okay, there we go. I think we got all of them. I think we're good. Are you... Are, do you need any fixing? No, nah, you're good. A couple of people actually asked me in between episodes how the moon pool works. They were asking, you know, if, if that's open water and there's a hole in the bottom, wouldn't all the water just rush into your base? Isn't that how it would work? Not really. Because the way that it works is you have this bubble of air and the water can't take up the same space as the air so it can't push in. So like you can try this at home if you have a cup and you put it in like a sink that's filled and you push it down the cup will stay filled with air. That's how like diving bells used to work back in the day. Ignore the little bubbles that you see floating through the air that I have down here. That's uh, more of a graphical error rather than science. But either way, I think we are good to get in the Cyclops. I need to name this thing as well. I do have a name for it, if we can get in. I am terrified to get, oh my God, you opened up for me. Thank you, that is so cool. Uh, nighttime Welcome approaches. Aboard, Captain. All systems online. That was badass. Oh, that's not Karen, fuck Karen. That was like, <laughs> what was that? I have my own Kylo Ren running the ship. Okay, you know what? That's It's gonna be Ren. It's gonna be Karen and Ren. Hello, Ren. Oh my God, that was so cool. I didn't think it was gonna be a different voice. Whoa. This is huge. There's like multiple decks. Is this my, this must be my engine, right? That's turning my uh, propeller, right? What does that say? Climb down the ladder. No, it's not important. We have uh, three power cells. Oh, okay. You have limited power. That is gonna be important to remember. And uh, it looks like we have, yeah, okay, we have some bulkheads. So, oh, 
Does that mean I can break this thing? I really don't want to break this thing. That's usually what you would use that for. What is this? Open. No sea moth docked. Oh, I can dock the sauce mobile in here. Look, it's got all the little arms and stuff down on the first floor. So I can take the sauce mobile with me, and this is like a mobile base. This must be the bridge. Oh, this is cool. This is the coolest thing I've like ever seen in video games. I love it. What do we got over here? Uh, submarine name. Okay, this is going to be the HMS uh, Chelsea. Because it needs a girl's name. It is a ship. You know, the sea moth isn't really, it's a submersible. It's not a ship. This is a ship. This is the Chelsea, but it's the Chelsea. And I can even color it like the sauce mobile. I'll do that later because that, that would take me a long time to figure out. And right now, I kind of like it in white. You know, it looks good, but it does need the sauce colors. Can I use any of this stuff? I feel like I should be using this or I should have a crew. Uh, toggle external floodlights. Ooh. That's creepy. Can I hide from bad things like this? I feel, oh, what's that movie? When they're when they're in submarines and they're flying around and, and they, gotta, they gotta hide and turn their lights off and the thing passes. It might've been one of the Star Wars, but I feel like it was a Disney movie that I'm thinking of. Either way, this is crazy. I can't believe it's bigger than Home Base Alpha. This thing is huge. Like I knew it was big. People had kind of spoiled for me that it was big and I could see in the blueprint that it was big. I didn't think it was this big. So this is our engine, so what's below deck? This is where we came in, isn't it? Around here somewhere? I wonder if there's like a living quarters. That would be really cool. I'd love to build stuff in here. Actually, it looks like there might be enough room to build stuff. Like if I try to build a locker, no. Oh, that's because I don't have this stuff. Yeah, I can actually build like storage in here. Oh, it comes with lockers. <laughs> it comes with everything. It's fully stocked. Oh my God, that is so much space. Look at that. That is absurd. And this is how I got in. Cool, climb up. Okay, yeah, so we've done the full tour. It's one full loop around, except for in here. I don't think I've been in there. I kind of want to go get the sauce mobile and see if that'll get me in there. So how do you get inside? Whoa, are you kidding me? It's got a mobile moon pool. Why did I even build a base? I could have just used this. That is unreal. Look at that, the Osmobile is with us and good to go. Oh, can I go below deck and see it? I didn't think, oh, that's probably why, because it opens up like that. I was like, there's no way that it would fit in here. It's such a tight squeeze. It's only like a one person wide thing, but it, it closes off so that the water can't get in. Yeah, there it is. That is crazy. Okay, so we got lower deck one, lower deck two. I'm gonna close these behind me just in case. I kind of want to put like things in here. Like, if I could grow trees in here, I'd never have to leave. This would be like everything. This would be permanent food. Should we try to drive it? I'm almost afraid to drive it. Close that just to be certain. Okay. Now, let's take her out. Oh boy. WASD to pilot space and sea for vertical. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I can, I can get on board with this. It's pretty agile, come to think of it. So C is uh, down and space is up. Oh, it can do a little hop. <laughs> okay, that's really useful. That's something that I've, maybe, does that exist in the the sea moth? Because I've been complaining about that since the start, that there wasn't um, a submerge and an elevate button because you'd always have to just put your nose up and drive up. It was really annoying. But if that's the case, I wonder, oh, it can only go 500 meters. Okay, I need to, uh, I need to modify it a little bit, I guess, to get further. I wonder if I can weaponize it. Where, it's really, I like that you have, oh, what is this? Whoa. Whoa, Whoa. oh, I'm, I'm below it. There's cameras, there's external cameras. That is insane. Uh, we got an above one. Oh yeah, look, I'm the little, I'm one of the R2-D2s. <laughs> I knew they were inquisitive looking. Oh, that is so useful. Look at that. I don't even need to get out all the time. Crazy. How do I how do I get out of it? There we go. Okay. Onward. What is that? 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 What is it? Ah, ah, uh, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Oh, I was probably like very close to the bottom. <laughs> it's got a detection system for me. I feel like this is a car that's way too nice for me to be driving. But like I've been trying to say for three times now and keep getting interrupted, I like that I have a, a head disconnected to the way that I'm driving so I can go straight and I can still look around. 
That was something that really pissed me off in the Seamoth. This is freaking cool. I see my energy anywhere. Do I have like a heads up display? No, that's my suit. Okay, I want to keep an eye on my energy. I want to make sure we don't just die in. Oh, yes, I do. Power. Okay. Uh, it has a lot more power than the other things. What do we got there? Uh, 1168 out of 1200? Drains through the power pretty quickly, too. And I don't think I can hook this up to my base to recharge it with solar panels. So I might need to find some rechargeable panels or steal the ones from Big Bertha. Very interesting. Maybe we'll go over and explore that heat signature. A lot of people have been asking me to do that, and I haven't been super interested because I have a feeling it's just a thermal vent, but we need something to do, we need somewhere to go, and that's really the only thing on my map, so whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I keep thinking we're gonna be under attack. Can I be under attack? I feel like I'm too big for anything to screw with me. I'm the biggest thing in the ocean now. I did it. I'm finally at the top of the food chain. Oh, I feel good about that. I like the speed that you travel in this thing. It's a little bit slower, but that's kind of nice because things don't aggressively pop in. It doesn't lag quite as much. So what the hell was that? Wait, was that me? That was me. There's a horn. Yeah, suck at everything. Ah, get out of my way. So where was that heat signature? Was that down there? Am I, what's behind me? wants me to, to, to go up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go up a little bit. There we go. Okay, you're good here, right? So we're just gonna step away. Okay, so where, where the hell did that heat signature go? I can't see through the thing. It must be below me. So now we can go, no, it's on the second floor. We can go over here, excuse me, and we can get in you, right? Sausmobile activate. I'm like Batman driving around in the bat cave. <laughs> Where is that heat signature? There it is. Okay, so are you good here? Right? You should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. It's gonna head down here. What could this be? People were saying maybe it's survivors. Uh, I I'm gonna believe that there are no survivors. Pretty sure they all got screwed. But then again, uh, then again, it could be a base. Then again, I, I could be an idiot. Oh, this is the one that we've already been to. That's the heat signature. I see, this is their way of getting you to come here. Very good, well, that's a little bit dis- Wait, there was an entrance right above this the entire time? I would go through the cave and it would take me like half an hour or like 45 minutes and it was right there. Well, that's good to know because I don't think I have all the PDAs in the save file because we keep restarting. I haven't had the time to go around and get them all again. So I will keep that signature going Maybe we will return again someday. I, do I have another heat signature? I don't think I do. I think that was the only one that we had. So we can, ah, ah, ah. I don't have any torpedoes to silence you, so I'm just gonna run back to my bat cave. Let me in, Chelsea. Welcome aboard. <laughs> it is, it, it sounds like Megatron. It sounds like, a, like an absolute evil transformer. Welcome aboard. It is. It's like Megatron meets a tugboat from Thomas the Tank Engine, and I love it. Am I even going to be able to get this thing over to Big Bertha? I feel like it's going to be a tight squeeze. I want to get over there so that I can steal some of her uh, rechargeable or self-recharging uh, power cells, because I'm pretty sure they're going to be better used in this than in that. So I'll, I'll take one of the ones from here, put it in there, or two of them maybe, and take hers and put them in this. And then hopefully they'll recharge as I'm not using it because I don't want to spend all my time charging it, even though I'm pretty sure we're close to finding a power cell charger, in which case I, I probably just need to manually do it. That wouldn't be too big of a deal. So far so good. I'm uh, managing to drive everywhere. Maybe maybe I'll be good. Oh, I think I might have spoken too soon. We're getting a little, little close. Am I gonna get a warning here? No, oh, yeah, warning, stop, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's, let's look at the camera. Let's just see how close we are. Are we, are we close? No, we got a, a good two feet to go. So this is a power cell at 97% and we are gonna unload it. Okay, so now we have that one and then we can go down here and then, oh my God, this place is so big, it's a maze sometimes. So I gotta go this way, right? Open, open and then open again. And then there's the exit. Okay, we're out, and this is Big Bertha. She should have self-recharging ones. I don't know how many. I'm also gonna need food soon. I've been having so much fun with my new toys. I'm, uh, well, dying. Emergency. Are you, are you blinking? Dehydration detected. 
I have a... Intake immediately. I have voicemail. Self-charging. Oh, it only has 25 power. That one has 100. Crap, 25. Or that one's 200. These are no use to me. Damn it. Okay, what do you got for me? This is an automated bounce back from the Aurora mining vessel. Your distress signal has been received. An emergency relief team will be dispatched to your location. <laughs> okay, we already got all that. That is not eventful. I love that when I get out, my first inclination is, where did I park that submarine? Oh! It's so big. It's obnoxious how big it is. It's so freaking cool. And it's even got the name on the side and everything. I love it. This, this is such such a great episode. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Subnautica, guys. I don't know if it's going to be relatively short or not, but I, I don't really have anything else that I have planned or that I want to do this episode. We explored the heat signature. It was nothing. We built the Cyclops, and it was awesome. So next episode, I really want to get um, the laser cutter finished so that we can go around and break into all of those sealed rooms. I'm actually a little bit more excited for that than anything else because there's got to be something in there. We have encountered so so many closed doors, and I hate closed doors in games, and we're gonna get answers next time. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. What's this little doohickey here? Should we run it over? Yeah, screw you. Oh god, it's a mine! No! What <laughs> puncher! Oh god, we've taken damage. Keep going. Why are there mines in creative mode? I don't understand. <laughs>